Hey guys, how are you? Um, I just put Porter down for a nap and Grayson is in his room doing some quiet time. I'm about to head out. I have my doctor's appointment today. So I am 12 or 13, I really don't know. Weeks pregnant, somewhere around there. So it's time for my next doctor's appointment. I think we're going to uh, listen to baby's heartbeat and possibly measure how big I am, but I don't know if they do it this early. So hopefully everything goes okay. I think I'm still pregnant. It's so hard to know in the beginning because you don't really feel the baby at all. So you're like, well, I hope it's still going well. <laughs> like I haven't had any bad symptoms um, and I'm still nauseous every day, like in the evenings. So I think it'll be okay, but I always get a little nervous going into it. Like, is everything okay? I don't know. So we'll see how that goes. I did want to say we went to the apple orchard yesterday. I took a few clips, so I'll input those here. At the apple orchard, picking apples. It's a beautiful September day. And apples. We just took pictures. We're gonna go see the farm animals. So much fun. Picking apples? Yes. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Where did Porter? Can you go? <gasps> no. No. Porter, go. <gasps> oh. Oh. Can we make a surprise face? No. <gasps> Porter, don't do that. Go, go give Porter a hug. Oh, go give Porter a hug. No, I don't. <laughs> Give him a hug. Give him a high five. No. <laughs> oh, look. There's a cookie. There's a cookie. He, he's mean. He's not telling me. And he's little, cold. He's like, no. <laughs> On a tractor, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I meant to do like a whole like day vlog of it, and I was running around like crazy yesterday, doing work, going shopping, and um, just didn't have time to pull out the camera until we were actually at the apple orchard but we had a lot of fun the kids loved it um it was such different weather this year compared to last year because last year it was like 90 degrees we were in our shorts and this year um we were like in sweat like in coats like it was it wasn't cold per se it was like high 60s but it was windy so um it was super fun we got so many apples i'll show you our bag it's like full of apples it was kind of expensive they charged 25 dollars for a small bag is that normal i just feel like it's way more expensive than it was um here's our apple bag i'll show you this is one of the boys toys but this is our apple bag so we stuffed it as full as we could because we wanted to get our money's worth. So we go through apples like crazy. The boys love apples. I love apples. Anthony does. So we'll go through this bag no problem. So yeah, we had a really good time. I'm so glad we could like check that off our list. Next we need to go to the pumpkin patch, um, but we're waiting for October for that, which October is in like five days. So it's coming fast, um, but it was really fun. We went with my parents and my sisters and brother and my sister-in-law. 
my brother-in-law so it was really fun we got lots of pictures surprisingly grayson didn't really eat like any of the apples like the past couple years we've gone and he's just like ate apples like no other like he loves it but this year like he would not eat them and he ate like one or two but they had to be red in color he would not have any that were yellow or green which was really funny oh gosh you scared me i'm vlogging oh, hi youtube <laughs> and porter ate like one apple and that was it and he was over it not as into the apples this year i don't know So I'm back. I'm actually back in my house, um, but I went to the doctor and I have to show you guys, I got updated um, ultrasound pictures of the baby, which I am shocked that I did because I didn't think I was going to get another ultrasound because usually I just get one, um, but they put me in that room. I took a video like you guys saw and they had the ultrasound machine in the room, which I was like that's weird like why did they put me in this room and then when my doctor came in she was like we're gonna use the doppler to hear the heartbeat but if for some reason like the baby's too small or we can't hear the heartbeat then we will um pull out the ultrasound machine and see them on the screen that made sense to me so they got the doppler out and she actually had an intern with her who was like learning and the intern actually found it like right away so yeah the heartbeat was like 160 so that was good heartbeat was strong and then my doctor was like well we found the heartbeat but do you want to do the um, ultrasound anyway and i was like yes of course like the last time we saw the baby it was like a blob <laughs> and though this time it actually looks like a baby so i'll show you guys the pictures so um this is the hand so stinking cute the baby was moving around so much so here's the um head and the nose mouth and then the body so oh it's just so cute it was moving around like crazy so yeah she said everything looked great it looks totally normal um she has no concerns which is good um i was a little nervous going to that appointment just because with it being so early like you don't ever like feel the baby and so you're like am i still pregnant like i do feel nauseous at some points of time but like am i nauseous like is it because of pregnancy or like is there a baby really in there and then to get it confirmed like i just feel so good about it so it was a good appointment i'll talk about it more on my 13 week pregnancy update so stay tuned for that um, but then I just ran around. I had so many errands I had to do. I went and picked up some outfits for family pictures. We have those in a couple weeks. And I had to pick up some like wall patch repair kits because we are closing on the house on Friday. And so we just want to get the house like looking as best it can before we transfer it over to the new owner. And there's like two holes from where our TV was mounted. So we're just going to patch those real quick. And I think Anthony wants to mow one more time. So it's like five days left. Um, and then, yeah, so I've just been running around like crazy, but I'm so glad I got that doctor's appointment in. I also, I'm going to talk quietly because Anthony's in the basement, but I have to call restaurants today and try to get a reservation for Anthony's surprise party. I gotta, I gotta talk small. I gotta talk low because he's just in the basement. I feel like he can hear me. I'm gonna like go outside, have this conversation. Or you know what? I'll go up in our room where he can't hear me. Cause outside it's really windy. They probably won't be able to hear me on the phone. So hopefully I can find a place that will take our huge group. We're gonna have about 20 people coming to this. So it's gonna be so much fun, so great. Most people said that they can come. So I need to make reservations early enough that like they don't get too busy and then I can't make any reservations. So I'm going to try and do that. And then I need to wake the boys up because it is the end of nap time. So busy, busy day. I didn't have a chance to like sit down and do nothing. So that's a bummer, but 
we'll just take it easy the rest of the day. I really don't know what I'm going to do with the kids. Maybe we will um, go to the park. We usually either go to the park or we play downstairs in the basement, depending on if Anthony has meetings or not. Um, and then we'll just do dinner and baths. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll record a little bit more depending on what we do this afternoon. I usually just let the kids dictate it for me. Sometimes we like make something. Um, I do want to make pumpkin bread soon because we made it once and we ate it so fast. Um, but we still have peanut butter cookies that we made like a week ago. So we're still munching on those. But yeah, everything is going well. And um, yeah, I'm just, I was so excited to see that baby. So that was so fun. So we're here for probably the last time at the old house. We're patching up two holes that were left behind after we took off the mount of the TV and stuff. So we're gonna patch that and paint. Anthony is mowing one last time and I'm going through the kiddos and we're just gonna make sure that we got all the things. Actually, I think I still need to empty the fridge. Yep, I do. Okay, so there, that's something I need to do. Hang on, Porter, come inside. Porter wants to watch Anthony Mo. Great. Porter, where are you going? So we're here probably for the last time. Uh, we close on Friday. We're actually signing tomorrow, so early, because we're done. <laughs> so we're going to be done with it basically tomorrow. Um, so we're just doing last minute things and just making sure all the rooms are empty. So I'm upstairs, it's looking like it's empty, other than the fridge. I gotta get all that stuff and put it in a bag, which I left a couple bags behind because I need to do that. So going through the rooms, they all look empty, which is good. I vacuumed one last time, which you guys saw that vlog. So I think we're good. I'm like breathing heavy because I'm pregnant. So I think it's good. I mean, I can take off like the toilet rolls, I guess. Goodbye. Probably don't want like empty toilet Goodbye, rolls. Bathroom. Goodbye, bathroom. Put the toilet seats down. So yeah, I mean, good luck to the new owner. Hopefully they like the house. For us, it's, it's good riddance. <laughs> We're so over it. We're just like totally in our new house and totally done with this house. This is kind of it. Just show you guys. Empty, empty, empty. Empty, empty, empty. Porter's room is empty. Oh, Guest me. room is empty. Oh. Grayson's room is empty. I it's all done. Me. All the rooms are empty. I'm gonna go and keep going, Gray. I'm gonna turn off the AC because it's cold anyway. And then when the new people come, they can turn on the heat when they want to. We actually just turned our heat on today because it was like 40 something this morning. So it was really cold. Yeah, this is kind of it for the house. I don't know, I feel like my brain's in a million different spots, but everything's out. I need to clear out the fridge, so I'm gonna do that. And then we need to just patch up this little, two little patches and Anthony's mowing one last time. And then we'll be done. I just picked up a million pine cones. I will not miss our pine tree. I hate that thing. It is so annoying. <laughs> it drops pine cones all the time and pine needles. Okay, I just turned our system off. It says it's 64 in here. That's cold, but it doesn't feel that cold. I mean, I am wearing a coat, so. Um, yeah, so this is kind of it. For the house, I have to go take pictures of the water meters to like get our final like water meter reading so that they can like give us the final bill. I've already canceled our gas. Well, it'll be canceled on the closing day and I cl canceled our um, electric. So all that's good, it's just the water. So I'm gonna go and take a picture right now of the water meter um, and that'll kind of be it. I mean, not really much else. I don't know that I'll come here. I mean, technically we still have the house till Friday, but I don't know that I'll come one last time. I'm just kind of done. <laughs>